right then, mate. <clears throat> what is up? We ain't what playing any games what? today because I can't work a mouse and keyboard and hold just... a decent conversation and play Xbox at the same time. It's just not. Just no. <laughs> Far too unrealistic. It's just a bit much, really, isn't it? <laughs> so what are so, we for us today? What we're gonna do is, I've got sixteen bookies here that most people will be aware of. That mm -hmm. most people probably use, like the main sort of two or three. But I've got yeah. six, sixteen in total, and we've got to rank them from god tier, pretty solid, acceptable, not ideal, or just bin. Mm -hmm. As in, wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. Yeah, makes sense. So, obviously, the way you can score them is ease of access. So, website slash mobile yeah. app, tablet, whatever you use it on. Um, mm -hmm. Promotions, like sign-up offers, yeah. general promotions. Um, yeah. Price discovery, so how quickly they adjust their lines. or Well, more importantly, mm -hmm. how quickly they get their lines up, sort of in advance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how quick they are to ban you because there definitely will be a few of those in here oh, um, yeah. I can see four no three mm -hmm. yeah we'll we'll get to that um, oh yeah we'll, we'll work our way through those <laughs> um, I swear there's other stuff as well we got app prices oh yeah prices that's a good one that's a yeah, yeah. bet in basics yeah. we care about that yeah Are we, do you want to do this in order left or right or do you just want me to pluck random ones out Let's pluck them. Pluck them. Right. <laughs> um, let's go Ladbrokes. Mm -hmm. Where would you have them? I, I mean, I think, to be honest, they're just acceptable. They're just fine. They're your classic high street bookie. Website is okay. Startup offers are okay. Um... The markets, to be honest, that they are they're in soccer and stuff. They offer some like pretty decent like card markets and stuff like that, and shot markets that not every other book does. They have they do have their own unique lines. Yeah, as usual, like the the prices is just market. Like if you're betting on like NHL so sides and totals, you know they're they're not exactly rapid to adjust, but you know they they catch up eventually. They don't give you much time to take advantage. Um, yeah, I I think acceptable's fair. I mean, they're just fine. I mean, I personally haven't been banned by by Lad Brooks, and not many people I know have. I don't know how quickly I to pull the trigger, but I certainly haven't. They certainly don't have a bad rep from me to to be quick with the ban hammer. Yeah, I I I don't really use them to be honest. Like when me and my mate used to play FIFA and wake up with a stonking hangover every Saturday. We used to stumble up to Ladbrokes, get a fry up and chuck a scroll bet slip, scroll size bet slip on of both teams to score in the Ugandan yeah. B League and all that stuff. But <laughs> other than that, I've never really used them. Like they do have those sort of odd lines you're on about, like player to do this and to win and yeah. Stuff like that. There's some good ones that they put up for the NHL and the um sorry, the NFL and the NBA I've seen over the years, but just I just never see them when I'm doing my sort of price comparison sort of digging, I just never see them anywhere near the top. So I never yeah. even think to go there. Mm hmm No, I think I think I think the set towards fine. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have an account with them. There might be the odd time where there's a, a an odd line, but they're certainly not the first place I'm going for any of my any of my lines. Yeah, and no. they're also not on odds checker, which for us Brits is quite difficult because you have to go onto their site specifically. You can't just check it on odds checker. That's a pain. That to me though, that says they're not putting up good prices and they know it. Maybe, maybe. But I mean, it could be an agreement thing. You know, mm. most of these, um, uh, most of these companies that are on here are flutter companies or or companies with agreements with odds checker. So maybe they just haven't got an agreement. But yeah, that that to me is annoying that they're not on there. Yeah, it just adds that extra sort of step, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, right, yeah, I, I don't really have anything. I don't have anything to disagree with you, Ladbrokes. I probably would have said not ideal, but that's just because I've always found their prices a bit rubbish, but y you seem to have looked into them a bit more than me. There are there are times. There are times when they're there. I mean, more often than not, you're going to be annoyed when you go there and you don't find a bad price. They're yeah. Just, they're just fine. Um. 
Right, next, let's go Will Hill. I would say pretty solid. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, um, they seem to make their own lines. Um, recently, when I've been looking at NBA props, I tend to check them before. I used to check 365 first for everything, but I also check Will Hill now because sometimes they get their lines up first. So mm -hmm. their app pisses me off. The mobile app pisses me off because with like one of the other sites, if you sort of put your phone in your pocket, you lock it, or you go onto YouTube or Twitter or something to check something. When you go back to Will Hill, yeah. it always conks and then like sends you back to the main menu. It does my head <laughs> in, especially when you've been trying to find this one sort of line for about an hour. Yeah, they're not particularly smooth. No. Um, I also I also don't like that I can't have multiple windows open. I can't have multiple windows open in the bet slip updates. I, I I have like separate bet slips per window. That that is frustrating. Yeah. So the website has its flaws. However, that I mean they're exactly what we're looking for. They they make their own player prop lines relatively early. Like they're one of the first places I look for my hockey lines, for my player prop lines. Yeah. They've they're up relatively quickly. Same for the NFL. They're pretty quick. So they're not scared to take your money on player props, providing that you're happy to pay the twenty percent juice, which is industry standard nowadays. Yeah. So yeah, I, th I think pretty solid's fair. I mean, in order to get in that god tier, like you got to be perfect on a lot of stuff, and their app, their, their app and their website let them down. But everything else, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy to have them in pretty solid. Yeah, the the excess sort of promotions they do on like horse racing and stuff like that has me a little bit like skeptical because it, it, why would they let you boost a price on everything three times a day if their odds weren't rubbish? That like, yeah, that yeah, to me maybe. is like a bit of a red flag. But I literally only use them for NBA props and occasionally NFL mm. stuff, so I I can't really. Yeah, I just I don't yeah. bet horses, so I yeah. I think they're quite big in the horse racing game, mainly because they they have like William Hill shops open and stuff, and that's where your that's where your granddad would go and you know stumble in and throw throw a tenner down on a horse just because he just because he likes the name, <laughs> you know that's 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 the sort of rep that they have with quite a lot of the British public, so they're not particularly scared to throw chuck an odd bonus out. Just because he thought the horse's, horse's name was a Bond villain back in his day, <laughs> might have been, probably was. <laughs> um, this is going. A lot. We're a lot more sort of agreeing than I thought we'd be. Let's. Right. Oh, we'll get there. Sky bet. Here we go. <laughs> go ahead. Where would you have? Go it? ahead. Sing your song. Sing your song. Where would you have it? For me, for me, they are really, really let down just by how quick they have been in the past to limit me on certain sports. It is so, so frustrating. <laughs> that they have like. A brilliant bonus system with the uh, every time you back if you back twenty five pound in a week you get a five pound free bet. That's a really solid like opt in bonus system. However, don't offer me a free bet on something so easy and then ban me when I hit like a five to one college college football <laughs> accumulator. <laughs> don't, like, like don't be annoyed that I won with my free bet. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it took multiple multiple. Um, strands of conversation to just say fine i'll just stop betting college football or like just don't let me i just won't use the free bet anymore just let me let me stay here because you offer you offer markets that other places don't yeah right. but it, it's it was so so frustrating to basically they offered me a free bet and they didn't like it when i won like and to, to, to be fair it was multiple times and i hit like multiple five to one winners but you know don't just be mad because i won with free money that's what Bet yeah, the same thing that Bet three six five used to do. Do you remember when uh, this is a couple of years ago now? But like they'd be throwing out like those fifty pound free and play oh. free and play bets for like Champions League and stuff. Mate, honestly, and when w sorry when Wales got to the semi finals in the Euros and in the quarters they beat yeah. Belgium. It, when they beat Belgium three one, they had the fifty quid offer on. Just the pub mm. I was in when I was watching it. I rarely watch football, but that was one of the few games I watched, and I, I, I was going absolutely mental. And honestly, I knew three people in that pub, just in that pub, that had their full fifty quid free on Wales to win three one, and it was sixty six to one. I didn't <laughs> see that offer for about eight months after that game. Bet three six five must have had their pants down. You know, I give, I give full credit to Bet three six five. They took it on the chin. Oh yeah. Like, you know what? We've this is a this is a bad offer. 
but not many people I know got banned. The only people that got banned were those who were like price matching and stuff like that. And they just they just got offered like you know the, the five pound uh, free bet rather than the fifty quid one. Like th- there wasn't any like I oh, know we're going to limit you on football and stuff like this. Yeah, which is which is what which is what Skybet have done in the past, and it's almost as though like you have you have to be an absolute sucker to be allowed to bet at these places and take advantage of their offers. I, but the one Skybet, thing Skybet, go on, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'm 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 ranting. It's all right. I I know you've got a bit of low key bit of beef with them, so it's all good. Yeah, there's, um, there's a bee in the bonnet with with Skybet. The one thing I will say, I honestly looking across this now might not be a popular opinion but i think sky have got the best mobile app out of the ones we've got on screen like the easiest to use that it functions the best mm. it doesn't get oh, caught I, up too much i'll give them credit i think i think they're they their app's probably second for me it's a, it's a very good app my my beef is more with their policy on on winners i don't like that at all i don't like books that will just you know offer the uh Give give you the chance to win, but then when you do win, nah, banned. Yeah, don't like that. But no, I'll, I'll, I'll give them credit. I mean, for for me, halfway between acceptable and pretty solid is fine. I I've got pretty solid, so we'll we'll round it up. One thing I will say that was a negative though: the amount of requester bets that they clearly price up at the wrong price. I've had a lot yeah. of bets that I've backed, and they've basically just. Albeit they did, they do give you like a free fiver or a free tenner or whatever. It's like a sorry. Mm. But like they, they seem to mess their prices up a lot, and obviously you are going to open yourself up to that when you're doing taking request bets from Joe Blogs on Twitter. Because yeah. there's a reason he's asking you for a price. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like the fact that you can save up all your freebies though, because I had, I had about 160 quid's worth of free bets for the Super Bowl, just all in like five or chunks. Mm-hmm. So unless there's anything yeah, that you yeah. see that stands out, you can just stockpile them. I mean that, that that bonus is really solid. If you're betting twenty five pound a week to give you a free a free five pound bet, that's really solid for you to keep your bankroll moving. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, right, you pick the next one. Go for it. Let's have some bin juice, shall we? Get bet ball in the bin. Go on, stick it there now. I no no argument. It's literally <laughs> like Diet Coke Twitter with yeah the most juiced odds. Yeah, you are bin juice because of how juicy their lines are. It's atrocious. It's. I mean, I would quite like to put a bet on without the app crashing three times. Just straight, just awful. You 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 go through the turmoil of making an app work, and you check the prices. They're juiced through the roof, and they're nowhere near the market. But they're, they're juiced so much that you're just like, nah, I'm out. Just I just wasted my time. If there's a betting app slash website that is sticking something under my nose saying this guy just won five grand here's his next bet do i have mug tattooed on my forehead get away from me get me off the app (laughs) uninstall tara not even alan brazil can let me go there (laughs) (laughs) alan brazil alan brazil darren bent whoever else they've got on their uh on their, on their marketing pieces. No, not interested. Get out. Alan Binges. Brazil looks like a haunted egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. No argument there. That site is pants. It's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Um, any other adjectives you want to throw in there? No. <laughs> I, I want to move Not on. that we're allowed on YouTube, no. Um, no. Right. I'll go... We're going to keep referencing them. I'm just going to get this over with... Do we agree? Three six five are god tier. Yeah, god tier. Yeah, I don't get me wrong. I have my beef with them, but their their odds are that they're, they're they're market makers in soccer. Um, they offer you so many lines like the close to kickoff and stuff like that. They're like really, and they do all their work as well. Like they're pretty good with the market. Uh, my only real issue is like for what we do for how we attack like player props and we attack price discovery. They're actually really smart with um, how late they leave it to put like player props and stuff. They let the price discovery happen and then they put it up. They let the other sites make the mistakes. So yeah, yeah. It's I'll, smart. Give them, I'll give them I'll give them credit for that. But there are a lot more props that they offer uh, towards game day that you you just know that like not many people are betting this. This is really niche. 
Um, like you know, the, the, the amount of field goal lines and stuff you can get in the NFL mid-season is just it's, it's really like quality stuff. There's a, there's a lot of stuff to go through. I really like them, and and I think they're they're the number one uh, guys for in play as well. Their in play stuff is fantastic. Yeah, it's on another level, especially like American sports, like obviously that we get quite stuck into. Yeah, like like Sky and Will Hill and stuff like that. I would never dream of doing some of the markets 365 offer like you can bet on player points like mid game in the nba it's, yeah so it's, it's so, really so good solid. so mm. solid and they're not scared of you winning either i don't think no well they're, they're in like every country aren't they so they're they're absolutely mm. massive they can sustain like a, a bad day yeah yeah i i wasn't expecting any argument on that one at all so i'm glad that uh, we're in agreement I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out there a little minnow that I I I quite like I, I like red zone I, I I think they're somewhere in the pretty solid to acceptable I think that's a I, I like there they're mainly because like I mean don't get me wrong the the website's not particularly brilliant um, but they offer some really good prices but I don't know if they're slow or if they're just choosing to offer you a slightly better than market price to take your action but. No, the, some of the prices that you get. I mean, I'm looking on Oz Checker now at some of these games. For example, uh, the Penguins have been bet down to almost favourites uh, in the NHL tonight against the Flyers, and there's, the Red Zone are offering you like a 10% more, like 2.15 on on, uh, on your return when the market's like hovering around 2.05. I don't know if that's because they've been slower, if they actually want your action, but to me, I mean, that that deserves some credit. Yeah, it. I I would. It's... Because I I haven't really used them. I use them now and again just for like price comparison and like kicking tires and stuff. Like I don't have an account mm-hmm. there, but mm-hmm. their website pisses me off, man. The way it's laid out, <laughs> it's yeah, so it. annoying. It could be so good. It'd be like my go-to, but they mm-hmm. have no promos, and they have a pretty bad website. That's the thing that puts me off. I think because they're an odds checker though. But like the stuff that you the stuff that you would bet is it's it's like worth it, you know. I'm betting N- I'm betting NHL sides, puck lines, totals. They're on there. They're on odds checker. So all I've got to do is find is, is find the line, and I know I'm taking it. Yeah, that to me yeah. like saves so much more time than, you know, someone like Ladbrokes who I'd actually have to go onto their site and find it, and then realize if realize I don't want it. So, so that, that kind of that kind of evens itself out in an in a in a way. Do you say Is more acceptable or pretty acceptable solid? Or pretty solid. I think acceptable, acceptable. Okay. Because it really, I mean, I mean, if they had like decent bonuses, then yeah, then pretty solid. But for me, like, they they've got like a ten pound sign up bonus, which is just you know, it's, it's nothing. It's not going to make me go to your, not going to make me go to your site. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, the prices are more than enough to keep them hovering above the rest of the pack. No, that's fair enough. No, that's fair. Right, let's go that way. <laughs> ben. Yeah. Ben. No disagreement? No. No, but I think maybe 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 not ideal is probably fairer, but I've got if if you've got beef with them, I'm fine with that. Oh frankly. mate, honestly, I won I signed up on say I signed up on the Monday. By Wednesday I I only won like seventy quid, I think, off their sign up offer. And they basically said you're now banned from promotions i was like mate i've been here for like two days and the guy was getting like proper bipping back at me in the chat as well i was like you can you can stick it then go and stick your face in the toilet i i don't know i said a lot worse than that but stuff i can't see on youtube but i was like what's your oh, beef you're and then yeah <laughs> cue the uh ricky gervais, ricky gervais yeah there you go. Ooh, you're hard no i Probably say not ideal to be honest, because some of their odds are actually okay. But yeah, Tim they're Pop- one of those, aren't they? They're, they're fine, but yeah, they're they're village. Tim Pop book. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe it's your turn, sir. Are we including the, the exchange in Betfair? Yeah, I, you kind of have to, yeah, really. Cool. Yeah, I I think Betfair because of the exchange is worthy of God's here. I I feel. I'd say that they're... as well. I I love the exchange. Yeah, the exchange is the exchange is superb. Their sports website is pretty decent. Not as fluid as I'd want, but like it's 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 all right. You know, the sign up offers aren't too bad. Um, you get bet boosts every now and then, but you have to earn them, which is fine. The same thing as a sky bet. You know, you get rewarded for playing there. I'm 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 all for that. I I think with the exchange as well, because they have the exchange. If you're winning in the sports book, they're not too concerned about limiting you. 
yeah. I think they're able to I think they're able to sneakily offset a bit of their risk in the exchange, to be honest. And I'm fine with that. If there's a better price in the sports book, I'm gonna take the price in the sports book. No, agreed. I obviously you have to take the commission. Like if you've just got the package with all the promos, like obviously on there you have to choose yeah. I quite like that you can sort of customize your rewards. Like mm. anyone who lives on the exchange, like pro traders and stuff like that, all obviously have the basic one, which is like two percent commission when mm-hmm markets and yes, I think match- yeah I think matchbook's like 1.7% now which is I, you don't even notice if you're only betting like 20 quid to be honest but um, yeah. the thing with Betfair yeah, so is solid. because they're still the most popular it's worth paying that extra mm. because you know the markets are going to be deeper and you're going to get more like true prices on there as well yeah I fully agree yeah fully I, agree. I like I like Betfair I, I had a bit of a scare with them a couple of weeks ago when I had that absolute madness i showed you on the nfl and then mm. i tried yeah. doing one two weeks after and it wouldn't let me put any more than a tenner on it and i was like oh this is where it begins yeah and yeah, then yeah. i i messaged them and like got on the chat to them i was like what's this about like because i'm having a good run you're limiting me and they were just like what do you mean i was like it won't let me put more than a tenner on but mm. sometimes because i had a bet settle on the exchange there's like a it's like a bug they've got where it gets stuck like in between a, pe- right. a penny and zero. So I actually had nineteen ninety nine in there, not twenty. That's why it wouldn't let me do it, and I, it it showed me I had twenty. I was so confused, but the guy was like, <laughs> "Yeah, it just happens sometimes." So he cleared it up for me. It was oh, at least right, the chat It's it's good to be able to talk to the book. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Um, yeah, no arguments there. I I really rate Betfair. Um, right. Bet Fred, bin. <laughs> any debate, any defence, any. No, no, no. Bet Fred just dreadful app, dreadful promotions. Literally, I, I've, I've, I've never wanted to bet there. The prices don't particularly stand out somewhere as I want to play. Website's crap. I have to press about six buttons to get to the biggest leagues. Yeah, the ridiculous. odds are wet as well. They're terrible. Mm. Yeah. I'd... No, uh, no reason to play there whatsoever. Nope, not even for price reasons. Like you, if you literally find anything on three six five or Betfair or even Sky, and then you go on mm-hmm. Betfred, it, the, the odds would be so much worse. Like pretty much every time. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm, I'm on their website. Um, I'm on their website now, and it's it, it's pain, absolute pain. Mm-hmm. Not fun to navigate. No promos. Terrible odds. In the bin. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, your turn. Uh, right, let's get this over with. Paddy Power, <laughs> tin pot. Not a fan. But they lim- they they've limited me three times, and just no. I've had enough. I've had enough rubbish. How dare you win? Stop without it. They're, they're not without at all. Without their social media team, which is gold. I'll give them that. Their social mm. media team is fantastic. Their promos and stuff. They're not bad, and the beat the drop thing's fun, but it, it's literally like Betfair and Paddy Power are obviously the same company, mm. but Betfair's just a lot more because they've got the exchange. Obviously, they're two like sub sort of sub company. I don't actually know the ins and outs of it, but it's basically the yeah, same company. Under, but yeah, Paddy yeah, they're Power, under, they're under yeah, but Paddy Power doesn't have the exchange to sort of prop it up when it's had a really bad day, mm-hmm. and their odds just. Yeah, I. I always feel good luck playing the implies with them as well because they're either blacked out or they're wrong, and then you can't bet it anyway. Yeah, you know, they've had a, they've had a few issues obviously with some of their uh, implies stuff in the past, and I think just the amount of times that you'll be uh, skimming through the markets, you're like, oh, that's a good price. I'll have, I'll, I'll I'll play that game, and then it takes like thirty seconds, but you bet on by the time it's moved and it declines it, you're like, what is happening? Yeah, it's not the best. Like, the app's okay. Um, it's not the best, but in terms of, I personally wouldn't have them in the bin. But if you've got beef with them, then I mean, cool. move. I, I I feel a bit out of order putting them in the same category as Betball, but at the same time, it's a dreadful approach to limit those who win. So I'm I'm okay with putting it in, a, in not ideal, but just my my opinion is shattered. I'm gonna. I'm going to move it up to not ideal then because Betbull and Betfred are literally like 
hot dog water level. Yeah, they're, they're pants. Yeah. Um, right. You pick Paddy Power, right? Mm hmm. Right. Can we all agree on this? Boil Sports, bin. <laughs> you not want to take advantage of their uh, bet £10, get free, but get a uh, £10 free bet as their primary uh, uh, introductory bonus. I hit 80 quids worth of free bets within. I think I was signed up with them for two hours and I got limited instantly. I can't put more than seven pence on a bet. <laughs> so I've got like a rogue, I think it's like six pound 40 something. And I had, yeah, I can't remember. I think I deposited, I took my original like 20 quid. I think I deposited originally. I put, I took my original 20 out and then I put, all of my free bets on. They only let me put it down in increments of like 9p. So I literally clicked everything on their website for the next 12 months and just stuck 9 pence on it of my free bets. And I forgot about it and then I went back to it 6 months later and I had about £6.30 in there but I can't withdraw any less than a tenner. So <laughs> I've got to somehow work it up to a tenner. Only playing seven pence at a time and i'm literally gonna screenshot it print it wipe my ass with it and send it to him <laughs> honestly mate the guy in the chat was a knob like they're just their odds are terrible <laughs> off you go how dare you win off you how go dare you win yeah don't offer it then <laughs> it yeah Tim now you there yeah another one of these companies that rely on suckers and ban everyone else is good not, not good for me now also on ball sport their their uh their boosted odds are so crazy you know who has enough of an opinion to bet these games they've got a an eight to one at the moment uh running for this weekend cardiff villarreal and mainz all to win <laughs> like, who 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 has an opinion on that i mean I just from seeing on Twitter, it. like Cardiff are obviously on a run at the moment, but that might be like people being like, "Ooh, Cardiff are playing well." Yeah, and uh, do you know anything about Villarreal and Mainz though? No. Um, <laughs> no. I'd be very interested to see if if you were to bet bet it as a treble, how much it's actually boosted elsewhere. I'd love to see that. Probably not much. Yeah, it's probably like seven to one, and they were like, "Oh, have an extra, have an extra uh, bit on top." And the general golden rule is: any time a bookie's throwing a massive price boost in your face on their yeah. home page, it's probably not going to come the, in. If it's on the front page, it's garbage. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. No, it's garbage. Yeah, or or if you win, you're going to get limited. So that too. You want. Mm. Right, go on then, Coral. Go on. Just for me, all I think, all I think of Coral is, is hearing their adverts on Talksport and having listening to that bloke in the morning. Come on, that used to drive me mad. It's either not ideal or bin for me. I think they're crap. Yeah, if there was a if there was a spot in between, it would be in between. I I, I think I think not ideal is fair. Their odds Just... are woeful. Mm -hmm. They used to have like a bet twenty a week, get a fiver or something like that, which was okay. Yeah. But the amount of time I'd spend sort of doing my basketball stuff for the week and esports and stuff like that, I, I, honestly, every time I open Coral, by the time I close, I'd be like, "Why have I even checked this? Mm -hmm. Why have I even checked with them? They're they're terrible. They're part of Ladbrokes, aren't they? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I Ladbrokes. I prefer to Coral. Um, mm -hmm. Coral do have those like weird markets, like similarly to Ladbrokes, that you can find some good lines in probably but, why they're just bastardizing them yeah like, exactly but apart from they're not somewhere you'd go for like spreads and sort of high profile sports yeah also not on odds checker very annoying yeah and i don't think they want to be on odds checker because i don't think matty boy who walks in to throw his newspaper money down on, on a horse is uh going to be checking odds checker is he yeah and exactly I, 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 I don't think they want the money for i don't think they want the action from anyone who's uh actually shopping their lines they want no. very very basic bears yeah agreed anything else for coral no nothing mate 
I'm going to put Matchbook in pretty solid. I don't yeah, know I if agree. you've I don't know if you've used them. I have, yeah, I have. I, I prefer Betfair's Exchange, but Matchbook's still pretty decent. It's it's quite new though. Like they, it's only been a thing for a couple of years, I think. But there there's more and more money in there. Like I tend to go back to it when there's baseball and NFL on. It's it because mm. the markets are getting deeper for it now. Um, yeah. If you play like football, like as in like Premier League football and stuff like that, then mm. one, you're mental. Two, yeah. you'll probably, you'll almost definitely always get a better price there than you would with any of the books. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, I, I like Match, but the apps, the apps not terrible. It's got most of the markets. I'd like to see more props and stuff, but obviously it's difficult with an exchange because. I might be one of about four people in the UK that bets on NBA player stats, so. <laughs> Hopefully more. Yeah, and Call of Duty, because I'm sad. Hey, you're up at, you're uh, you're in with the kids, I think I call that. I consider myself have... still a kid, so we'll be good. Yeah, you'll take it. Do they even mm. have, like, startup, startup bonuses for Matchbook? Uh, like that? They did. I, I signed up about two years ago now, though. I can't even remember what it was, but I think it's just like you get... The exchanges normally do like a risk-free ten pound, or if you lose your first ten, you get ten back or something. Right, right. Which, to be honest, you're not you're not as bothered about bonuses with an exchange because it's already a better place to bet. Yeah. Because you're not pay, you're not paying obscene amounts of juice. Yeah. But exactly. You, yeah. If you get a good, if you get, I think if you if there is a a, a sign up offer, you take advantage because it's it's good to have an account open with a, with an exchange. Yeah. No, agreed. Um. Yeah. I. Don't really have a bad word to say about Matchbook, to be honest. Like they're adding more markets all the time that people are asking. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's about it, really. I'll go uh, Unibet next. <laughs> uh, don't really think they're terrible. Think they're I'd say all right. I'd say acceptable. Yeah, for I me. think so too. I think so too. It's not the first place I go. Um, they are on odds checker, which is very handy. But similar situation to um, to some of the other books that we've mentioned. That what what saves them is that they are on um, odds checker. So all I care about is if I'm going to that website, it's because there's a there's a line I like. Yeah, yeah. So the fact I that they're that, showing up is a be the fact that they're showing up is a better sign than Coral and Ladbrokes have. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and they have some pretty decent in-play uh, free bet club stuff that's quite useful, um, like £50 uh, sign-up offers. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, but they are tickets to the casino, which is better than nothing. Um, but it's still a, a shot at you know, actual cash rather than you know, it's a, getting a load of uh, free bets that you're not allowed to bet on anything that's better than you know, two to one or anything like that, which, which is the case with some places. Don't they their promo things? Don't you have to turn them over like fifty times or something like that? Or I think right? it's quite difficult, but the, you 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 are, I think you are able to cash out the the actual cash that you put in and the cash winnings that you've made with your actual deposit. Okay, all right, no, that makes sense. Yeah, and I think as well, like a lot of these times, if you are betting with Unibet, then you know it's you're not going to be withdrawing your money for quite a while. If you know what I'm saying, you're going to let your bankroll build up a little bit in some of these places. It's just one of those ones you log in two years later and you're like, oh, I had 100 quid in here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent when you just find some money under the carpet. Mm. Right, I'll take the next one. I I put Smarkets as acceptable. I don't know if you've had any use with them. Obviously, they've now got a sports book as well as an exchange. But Yeah, I, I think it's the it's definitely the bronze medal of, of exchanges, isn't it? But it's still it's an exchange. Yeah, with, it, with the with the sports book tacked on. I like the app. The app's really good, and the the graphs are a lot more accessible than they are on Betfair. So you can see sort of where the prices have been matched and which way it's heading. Um, yeah. The only thing I will say, I'm convinced ninety percent of the money in there is just bots, and it's just heaven for. I'm pretty sure the only people that use it just do match betting because. You can look mm -hmm. at if you look at websites and look what races are on promotions. There is there is so much more money in those markets on Sparkets than any other sort of line on there. Like foot, it's good mm -hmm. for football, like Premier League football. But like, 
I tried getting stuff matched on ice hockey and basketball and NFL and stuff, and you leave it up for like three days and you won't even get a nibble on there. It's just not not enough people use it mm. for it to be on matchbooks level. Yeah, it lacks the depth, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just really shallow. Like they, It's one of those, though, you can literally tweet them and say, can I have a market open for this? And they will literally make you one, like my mate's done it before. <laughs> but yeah. It, Again, no matches. There's there's no point. So. Yeah, yeah, it's frustrating, but still, it's a. Uh, That's not their fault though. It's it's not yeah, their fault. Yeah, it's just gotta... no one uses it, so it's. You can't really get as much out of it as you'd like. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Go on, then, mate. Finish the job. Oh, finally. Where's Victor going? Finally, but. I think it's on a par with Carl, isn't it? Really, really. Yeah. Like it's, it is. It's bad, but it's not that bad. It's not quite bin juice. Mm-hmm. It's that little bit above hot dog water. I think it's yeah. They've got really weird markets and really weird price boosts that can be good. But mm. I used to do NBA props there for a couple of weeks, and I can't deposit there anymore now. So I think they've shut the door. <laughs> yeah, they ha- they have been known to be quite quick to to uh, throw you away if you're uh, basically if you're not betting on large accumulators or you're actually like beating the closing line they don't want anything to do with you which is their prerogative fair enough but yeah. lyrical genius yeah oh my god oh my god that there echo go. is rancid that echo is rancid from me sound like c3po sound like c3po <laughs> yeah I'm pretty happy with what we've got to be honest I honestly when I put this sort of short list together with the 16 of them those were the two i had in mind in the god tier one yeah yeah obviously easy. 365 is going to be an easy one um sky i kind of had penciled as pretty solid will hill i'd have had as acceptable because their app is garbage but yeah but that but for us and what we do they're pretty solid yeah i, yeah. I thought i thought sky bet would be you know knee deep in bin juice but no but I, I think you're fair i think you i think i think it's fair to, to call them pretty solid i just have a Real disposition about against books that ban you if you win. I don't like that. Yeah, I. They're quite slow at moving lines, so if you, it's quite handy if you miss something at three six five. It's always like, especially with like shallower stuff like NBA props, esports, all that sort of very stuff. True. It's very true. The first place, now. the first place you should go is Sky because they are not quick at adjusting. Mm-hmm. But which is what we're after. One thing I will say about them: the guys pricing up their request to bets, they're either extremely generous or they're thieves. Yeah. Because <laughs> honestly, the amount of times I'll tweet like a, if I've got like a load of freebies saved up and there's a good card of NBA on, I'll just yeah. be like, oh, can I have a price on this? And I'll price the same thing up on Betfair. It'll be like a hundred to one. Sky, like, we'll give you thirty three. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm saving That's my free bet. Nice try. I still want plus EV on my on my free bet, please. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's basically free money, so send it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy with that. I think we should do some more tiers like that. Not obviously yeah, not work. not more bookies because we've pretty much talked <laughs> talked about the only ones worth talking about, and we're gonna get banned if we yeah, carry let's on. Revisit so. these in three months. Let's, let's revisit these in three months and see if they've banned us. <laughs> They no, found it. They managed to put our, uh, our our tips into a into a blender and see which one and and, and uh, work out which accounts were us. Yeah, hope not. 